Hi, I'm Harvey Target of Block 44S and this is uh, bone spabbing. So the definition of bone spabbing is it's osteoarthritis of the DIT joint, DMT joint and sometimes the PIT joint. So these are the joints of the POC. Um, it is a degenerative joint disease and it is normally caused by sheer forces applied on the foot when the horse is moving and it is more common in mature horses um, and it's more common in horses that do like heavy equine activity, for example, like show jumping or like x ray horses, something like that. Um, there's different classifications of it, and it is an acquired condition. It can be acute in the early stages or chronic in later stages. Uh, if it's like treated in the, in the acute stages, you can slow down the process. Um, it's an inflammatory disease and in the inflammatory stage you can also find blind uh, blind spavins and jack spavins which you can't actually see on the joint but you'd see that inflammation of the joint. Um, it is positioned on the dorsal medial aspect the dorsal medial aspect of the DIT joint and the TMT joint and sometimes again the PIT joint. It's commonly bilateral, so that means it's both sides of the joint. Um, it's, it is presented in like the early stages by heat and pain. Uh, there might be gait change of the horse. Uh, there might be bone change. So you might be able to see like a bit of lump coming around the hock. Uh, the horse will have will be lame. Um, and also a big sign is like shoe wear. Like this horse is um this horse is barefoot, but if it had the shoe on you'd see like from the toe, inside toe quarter, inside toe well, outside toe quarter, sorry, to the inside heel, you'd be heavier worn if it had a bone spabbing because it's abducting in as it moves, so it's coming in and around and landing heavy on the inside, so wear on the inside of the shoe more. Um, it causes uh, normally direct trauma, uh, it could be from ec equine activity, uh, it could be from conformation, uh, it can be caused by cowed or sippled hocked horses, so cow hocked is when like, the hocks are coming, so the hocks are quite close together. Um, it, can be, it can be caused by um, Suboptimal farrowing, so if you're leaving a horse like inside high, you can cause it to land and load like unnaturally. Uh, it can also be caused by overweight horses or overweight riders. Same again, like it adds shear forces to the horses they're moving. So the main cause is shear forces. So if your foot's out of balance or there's too much weight, it's going to cause extra shear forces as the horse lands and loads on its foot. Um, diagnosis. Is obviously like I said before about how it is um, presented, so like the heat and pain, etc., gait change. But obviously, more towards a vet diagnosis, you can have a nerve blocks in the leg to find out where the pain is coming from, or you can also do a uh, x ray or radiograph on the joint. Uh, vet treatments they would first of all give the horse NSAIDs, which is anti inflammatory drugs to sort of take the pain away in the acute stage that would be in the more chronic stages they might have a go at fusing the joint so that's done by like going into the joint and hitting bits of bone off so it fuses quicker so it'll make it more of a chronic case but it'll help the horse have let like the pain of the horse will go quicker or there's you can also do bone modeling which is a similar thing but obviously it makes like hardens the bone so it like fuses quicker uh, uh, so like fire treatments, be obviously you can put like a different types of shoes on. So like a common shoe would maybe be like a set toe with a plain stamped inside and then a big lateral extension on the outside. So that's going to make the, so that's going to stop, protect the toe when the horse is dragging and coming through with the abduction. So as it drags the toe, the uh, shoe will protect it with a set toe. Uh, the plain stamp means it's heavier wearing, but also it will slide better to avoid the shear forces and then the lateral extension will bring the foot out so instead of cutting in it will force it to sort of land more naturally and how the foot would, like should be landing to stop the heavy wearing. 
Uh, you can also, just by trimming the foot level, making sure you get the ideal um, HPA and like trim to the correct um, hoof pass and axis, that can help the condition. Uh, and reducing like the shear forces. So again, like putting like a sort of flat shoe. If it's got concave shoes, I'll put like a flat shoe on, plain stamped ideally. Um, so owner management, you just wanna make sure that the owner keeps like giving the anti-inflammatory drugs, keeps an eye on it, make sure it's not getting any worse, etc. And then again, they can just uh, lower the exercise of the horse or maybe do like, uh, like low, like so if they go show jump a lot, like stop show jumping, do a little bit of low level stuff, change the activity of the horse. So maybe go to like something on the ring of surface, so it's softer for the horse and not hitting the ground as hard, stuff like that. But again, arena surface makes more shear forces, so it's fine what's best for the horse. And then maybe you could have like therapy with the horse to help the joints recover. Um, and then sort of like the prognosis is normally guarded because stuff like the gait change, that will stay, that's not gonna be corrected, but also you can make the horse more comfortable. Thank you.